yo what's up guys you are welcome back this is across nigeria where we publish news on politics celebrities and also metro stories today is the 29th of august 2019 my time here is 10 32 in the morning so let me greet you a good morning good afternoon and good evening depends where you are watching from all right, I have a news update to share with you guys today as EFCC begins probe on Obasanjo's 16 billion power project four people have been arrested. So two top officials of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, the company that carried out um, the supervision of the execution of Obasanjo's 16 billion power project have been arrested by the EFCC. Both officials were among four persons who were detained by the anti-corruption agency on Wednesday. So the arrest signified that a probe of the massive expenditure during the administration of Obasanjo has begun. The project had little or nothing to show for it in the long run. So the top um, officials who were arrested include the SAMC Odibo, the head of compensation and um, Marvel Emifele, the head of finance, they are expected to give an account for the 850 million, which was MRK's compensation to communities where components of the power project were cited. Mr. Richard Ayi Bobu, the managing director of Pivot Engineering, as well as Mr. Christian E. Imoka, the managing director of Chris Ejaik, Nigerian Limited, were also arrested by the EFCC. So the nation report that um, detectives are on the trail of 18 more suspects, including a former chairman of a bank, two former governors, and a former chairman of an airline. It was discovered that about 15 more companies were on the radar of EFCC on Wednesday night. It is, however, feared that some of these suspects may have secretly relocated abroad. All right, so um, let us know what you think about this. You know, for me, I'm just going to give you my own personal opinion. Your own opinion is welcome on the comment section below. I may not be 100% right or correct but i'm only giving you my own opinion all right first of all let me begin by saying that um when issues like this happens uh, most of us or a lot of us that thinks that um, many nigerians politicians that are rich seriously they are not actually rich but they are thieves because i really don't see a reason why such amount of money was um, dispense, let me put it that way, was released for a power project and yet I have a weakness a lot of communities that are yet to have um, light for about six months. I really don't know why it's that so but when we now realize that this kind of money was released, 16 billion dollars was released for a, a project like this and a lot of people have to divert divert the money to their own personal use and their family use men i really commend efcc for this so for me i think it's a welcome development but once um Shehu Sani once take to his um, official twitter handle uh, that the reason why buhari's administration is yet to probe or passengers this 16 billion dollar project is because um a lot of top officials that were loyal to Obasanjo during his administration, those officials are also in Buhari's government. And you know what's going to happen when issues like this happen, man, a lot of people will go down. Okay. Um, but it's a welcome development. And um, like I said, so far, they said um, governors are involved, ministers are involved, and so on. All right, so let's uh, wait and see what's going to happen. So for you to keep an update on this story, because I'm going to give you every necessary details about this 
story the developing story don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get instant notification whenever i give you the developing story and whenever we have a breaking news what is happening in nigeria for you guys all right so um let me think about uh, let me know what you think about this development for me like i said it's a welcome development let the efcc do their job whoever is going to be involved let us know because those money belongs to all of us it's nigerians it's taxpayers money so nobody should just divert it well we all should pray for nigeria that's just what i have to say because the level of this thing called corruption i i am beginning to think if it's um it's just gonna take a deliverance for us to have a corrupt free nigeria um imagine nigeria being like even south africa street light basic amenities and so on well everybody's gonna enjoy it okay and maybe a common man an average man owning a car something like that just like other countries that do not even have the money that nigeria have but they are living comfortable all right okay let me stop there and um, allow you to put in your own contribution based on this developing story i will see you guys in another video i am out